An attorney is under the microscope tonight accused of making racist comments about his own clients. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. Tonight we've learned the district attorney is looking into statements they believe were made by a Bradley County attorney. Tweets that are being tied to Todd G are the focus of an article by the group Antifa. Kylie Thomas shows us what those posts said and what this could mean for his clients. Kylie. Well, the Tennessee Board of Professional Responsibility is now investigating attorney Todd G. That's the organization that looks into ethical violations by attorneys. Now, a Bradley County judge announced that inside a courtroom here on Monday. Now that's putting the credibility of G's cases in question. If you want to know the buzz in Bradley County, look no further than Don Humes. I think the guy is really disturbed. He was shocked to learn an attorney in his own town allegedly making racist, homophobic, and offensive comments about his clients. It's, he's got a mindset like that. He shouldn't be representing, you know, the people. One by one, he reads the tweets found in a political article. The headline reads, Meet Todd G, Racist Attorney in Tennessee. G is accused of running this Twitter account under a fake name. Tweets like, I really have the stupidest clients, to I oppress minorities and flaunt my white privilege. Plus, verbal attacks of Assistant District Attorney Drew Robinson. G allegedly calls Robinson a Negro Canadian who illegally lives in the United States. I don't know how Drew feel about that, but it got me upset when I seen that, you know, that people, two people that's in the same feels, you know, of work that somebody would degrade somebody. When we first called G to learn if he made these comments in the first place, he said he couldn't talk and hung up. He hasn't answered our calls since. We also went into his office downtown Cleveland, but he wasn't there. District Attorney Steve Crump says they are now reviewing all cases involving Attorney G. We asked a UT law professor how these accusations could call into question the cases that he represents. His own personal biases and interests may limit how effective he is as an attorney, in which case his racism is essentially creates a, or his racism essentially creates a conflict of interest. Stirring outrage among the community. If it is true, I think this guy should be disbarred, you know, from being a lawyer. And the people who expect G to defend their rights. Now, I did talk to Drew Robinson, who is that assistant district attorney that G allegedly called out online. Robinson tells me that G asked him to sit down and talk about these statements, but Robinson says he feels like that's not necessary. As for the Twitter account, it has been deleted. Live in Bradley County, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Thank you, Kylie. Professor Long says the American Bar Association just passed an advisory. It prohibits attorneys from engaging in contact that displays a bias of race, gender, or sexual orientation. But twice the state of Tennessee has decided to not adopt that rule.